back to the workshop. Now, I've just realised it's been nearly two months since my last video upload. This will not do. reason for this is because I've been working on a project that's been taking forever to finish. I've just had to order another part for it, and it's going to be at least next week before I get it finished and uploaded. So, in the meantime, just to let you guys know that I still exist, I'm doing a quick video today about all the stuff that we find in the things all around us that can be useful to us. I bought a toy remote control fire engine that was on its last legs and I'm going to take it apart for you now and we're going to see what cool and useful things we can find inside it. Now I bought this originally for £5. Um, my original plan was to clean it up and resell it for a profit but I've had a good look at it now, I've given it a test. It doesn't work anywhere near as well as I'm hoping it, I was hoping it was going to. It's a lot dirtier than I thought, there's really bad nicotine stains down one side, I mean, I'm never going to clean that up. Battery box is rusted, I'm never going to clean that up, so I'm going to scrap it, I'm going to see what I can find in there. Now the first useful thing I found in there was actually these four rechargeable batteries, which if you look on eBay you'll get them for six or seven pound for four, so really if they work, and I'm hoping they will, uh, I've got my money back, so good start. First thing is we've got this little array of switches here, which are probably going to be useful, so we'll keep them. Snip them off. I can go with my pile of useful stuff. Now I thought this was going to be a potentiometer on here, and it's not. It's just it's a very simple set of contacts and a lever. That, not much good to me at all without the whole thing being intact, which it won't be. But this, useful little mechanical lever, so I've got two of those, keep them. And the rest of it can go in the bin. Okay, that's the controller done. Let's see what we've got here. This here is a little water squirter. It has a mechanism that when I put it all back together, squirts water. Now this took six one and a half volt batteries, so nine volts shouldn't kill it. I hope not. Right, this thing, you see it here, we have a motor, a gearbox and an axle. Let's see if we can get all that out in one piece. So there we go, we've got the axle, the motor and the gearbox out all together. So let's just give it a quick test. what I'm talking about. Put that with the pile of useful stuff and see what else is in here. There we go, one little speaker. So that's it for this bit. I'm going to pull this axle out and keep that and the rest of it is going to go in the bin. Okay so now we've got the top end of the chassis. So let's see what's in here. Now what we've got here is a little steering assembly. It's a steering axle and a steering assembly driven by a motor. I'm not going to pull this apart because this might come in handy as it is, so let's keep that intact. When I get a bit more time I might cut this down neatly so it's a bit more useful, but for now I can stay as it is. Now then we've got the cab. Now all that's in the cab is just a few LEDs. I want to save this blue on top because I think that's quite cool. I just think it's nice, I'm not going to use it somewhere. There's an LED in this light. I'll try and just keep that one as well. There were two in the front but they were hot glued in so harshly they broke when they came out. So no big loss, just a couple of LEDs. So let's, uh, let's take the light off. Oh, 
And there's me blueies. Now I've wrapped the threads on the bottom of those, so I'll have to re-tap into there, but that's no big deal. There we are, I like that. Yay, look at that. That is cool. And of course we've got this thing. Oh, that's nice and bright, that is. That's brilliant. Right, last but not least, we have this old assembly. But there are loads of little motors with these gearboxes, cogs like that. So we'll keep, we'll take all that, and we'll keep all that. So look at that, it's a nice high torque, low speed motor. That's going to be really useful. Now we have the cog that fits with it. And this is going to be another high, low torque. Oh, it's fast. Oh, I see that one at the top's whizzing round. Another useful motor. I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to keep this hose. Just because it might be handy for something. I don't know. I was planning on keeping this whole assembly intact, but after a bit of a bit of testing, I don't think I'm going to. I think the gearbox is knackered. So I'm going to break it apart and I'm going to keep what, whatever I can that's useful and bin the rest. So we'll keep this bit and see what. So as you can see, one side works, the other side, not so great. Okay, so let's have a look at our haul. So we've got axle, powered axle with a gearbox and a motor, steering axle with a motor, bank of switches, water squirting machine, one, two, three motors with gearboxes, Two little controller levers, speaker, length of hose, length of cable, with how many cores, lots of cores. Got this little light here, got this set of blue lights here. And of course not forgetting our four rechargeable batteries. Which I can say are working perfectly. So, I've got all that stuff for a fiver, which I think is a brilliant deal. And if you keep watching my channel, you never know, you might actually see me use it in a project sooner or later. So, if you like this video, hit the like button down there, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you know what to do. So hit the subscribe button as well. I've got 225 subscribers. Um, otherwise, see you in the next video. Cheers.